In this video, I'm going to show you how you can shuffle the questions in a random quiz each time the learner attempts to retake the assessment. I had a client reach out to me this week with this exact problem. They wanted to be able to have their Adobe Captivate project include a random selection of quiz questions at the end of the course. And if they allowed the learner to retake that quiz, they wanted to present them with a completely different random selection of quiz questions. And as anyone who's been using Captivate for a few years uh, knows that this is just not something that Adobe Captivate Classic or earlier does. So I got to thinking, is there a way I can use my learning management system to help achieve this uh, objective. So here's the solution that I came up with. What I've done is I've created two Captivate projects. One contains the quiz, which is five randomly selected questions from a pool of 10 questions and just a basic content. So basically the quiz covers this material here. I'm going to publish this and we'll call it Canada Content. It's going to overwrite a folder I've already created on my desktop, but that's okay. Let's go down to More, take a look at eLearning Output. In this case, I've chosen XAPI because my learning management system will handle XAPI, and that's the most up-to-date version. But I could just as easily have selected SCORM 1.2 or SCORM 2004 or AICC. So in this case here, completion criteria, is we want learners to view 100% of the slides, or in this case, two slides. And the success criteria will be the same for this module. We'll unselect quizzes passed because there is no quiz here. So they just need to view both of these slides for this to be captured. So we'll click on OK, and we'll go ahead and publish that as Canada content. We're going to overwrite the version that I tested before. And once that's done, we can go ahead and minimize this instance of Captivate and now go to our separate quiz module. We're going to publish that to computer. Click the more so we can bring up eLearning output. And what we're going to do here is completion criteria will be, in this case, slide views and or quiz. So they will be complete if the quiz is passed, but they'll also be successful if the quiz is passed. The other thing I'm going to do to allow people to relaunch the quiz is we're going to select never send resume data. So if this course is launched a second time, they'll see an entirely new instance of that quiz module. So let's click OK here, and we're going to go ahead and click OK, and we will publish the quiz to our desktop here. Perfect. So now we have two zip files that contain XAPI eLearning courses. We're going to go to my learning management system, which in this instance is Adobe Learning Manager. Makes sense because I do primarily Adobe Captivate tutorials, so it makes sense that I would use Adobe Learning Manager. But there are literally hundreds of LMSs out there. And really what I want to show you here is the concept of how you would set up this particular course rather than the specifics on every single LMS that's out there. So most LMSs deal with content or modules and separately or overarchingly courses. So courses are made up of content or modules. In this case here, I'm going to first of all start by uploading my modules to the, the LMS here. So I'm going to select content and I'm going to call this Canada course, and I'll just use the same words for the description as well. And we can literally drag and drop our zip file to this window here. We don't need to fill anything else out. We can just hit save, and you'll see it working away on Canada course here. Next, we want to upload our quiz content. So you might think to press here, but this is something different in this LMS. Again, this is content that we're going to add. 
and we're going to call this Canada Course Quiz. I'll copy that, paste it in there, and we will drag our quiz.zip file that we just published here, and we'll go ahead and press Save. So this is still working away, but essentially we have two elements at this point now. We're logged into the LMS as an author, so I'm going to now build that course that we need. So we're going to select courses here. I'm going to click on add and we will call this Canada course. And the description will be the same. Detailed overview could be the same here. And we're going to add our modules here. So let's go ahead and start off with our first module, which is just the Canada course where the knowledge is taught here. Now, depending on your LMS and even within Adobe Learning Manager, there are several things that we can do here. We could add the quiz as a content element and then, of course, enforce an ordered sequence of modules by selecting that. Or there is actually a specific a section for test out and I could add the quiz here. In this case here, I'm going to add it as a module. Just try something a little different here. So there's my quiz and we're going to say it has to be completed in order. So once that's done, we can press save. We're going to assign the skill of general and a level of one. And we'll say one credit and we'll, we'll select the max credits here. And I'll just put my own name in here as the um, author of this course. We'll allow it to be self-enrolled, you know, and, and each LMS will have its own elements here. This is the player controls in Adobe Learning Manager. You can turn on or off any of the player controls that you wish to make available to your learners. And now I can press save. And once it's saved successfully, I can publish. And now I have my Canada course. I can't launch it as a learner from here. In this particular instance, I now need to log in as a learner if I wish to test it out and have the full experience that, you know, that a learner would have here. So uh, let's just do a search for Canada. What did I call it? Canada. Okay, so there's my Canada course. I've done this before, at least here. Let's view this course. Now let's take a good look here. You can see that the quiz is presently locked. I need to complete the core content first. So, but that's okay. I'm going to enroll in this course and it will immediately launch the first module. And that's where I'm simply going to see the, just the facts, right? Okay, so I can exit from this now and then it goes straight into the quiz. And let's purposely fail the quiz. So let's get wrong answers for everything. Oops, that was a right answer. So let's just get this very wrong. Okay, so that should be, oh yeah, let's do this wrong. I fail. So let's close this out. I come back here. Again, my core content is finished, but I can launch the Canada course quiz yet again. One of two core content completed. So let's do this again. Now we see completely different questions. Let's get it right this time. Toronto is the largest city in Canada. The five national parks that I was looking for are right up top there. I made it simple for myself to cheat. And we have 10 provinces and three territories. And, ooh, this one's tough. I might get this wrong. 1852? No, I was wrong. However, I do know that Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. So I got one wrong, I should still pass. And there you go, congratulations, you passed the quiz. Let's exit from the module. And I have completed this course. I've completed two out of the two core content items and all is good. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. 
Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.